Myositis ossificans. Myositis ossificans is bone formation within a muscle secondary to blunt trauma. It could mimic osteogenic sarcoma on x-ray and on biopsy. It occurs in young active males. It happens from trauma to a muscle and the soft tissue or from hematoma in the muscle. What are the muscles involved? The quadriceps, the brachialis, the gluteal muscles, and the deltoid. How about the clinical presentation? Pain and tender is swelling and decreased range of motion, usually within days of the injury. Another presentation is painless enlarging mass with decreased range of motion, usually after an injury. It is a self-limiting problem. How about x-rays? The mineralization usually occurs about three weeks after the injury. Initially, you will find a faint, irregular soft tissue densities on x-rays. You call it dotted veal pattern. This is followed by zoning pattern as the mineralization progress. You will find zoning is like an egg shell. It is mineralized at the periphery from the lamellar bone and loosened at the center from immature tissue. This peripheral maturation is the reverse of what you will see in malignant tumors, example osteosarcoma, where the central part is mature. For example, the differential diagnosis is the extraskeletal and parastial osteosarc, you will find more ossified in the center and the periphery will have lucencies. Also, you find in the x-ray, this calcification, ossification may or may not be attached to the bone. Definitely, the CT scan will show the eggshell and the bone scan will be hot. So what is the treatment for myositis ossificans. Usually the patient will come and see you with a painless mass that's apparent usually two to four weeks after the injury. And the patient will ask for your advice. Usually the patient is male, active, young, and it may limit the range of motion for that patient. So the first thing you will do, rest and modify activity observe it, advise the patient to have physiotherapy to obtain and maintain the range of motion. Do not excise it in the early stages because it will lead to recurrence. The size of the mass usually decreases after one year. You need to do x-ray follow-up. Surgery, if indicated, should be delayed until the lesion is mature, which takes up to one year, and no longer the lesions show increased uptake in bone skin. Obviously, that is debatable. Some people will go early. There is a risk that the mass may come back. There is another entity called fibrodysplasia ossificans progressiva. The patient will have generalized back and joint stiffness. Basically, the patient will have frozen spine and frozen joints from progressive heterotopic ossification. The ACVR1 gene is involved in these cases. This video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.